we have a function f of two variables x and y which is given by this particular expression so here we have to show that fxx calculated at the point 2 comma negative 1 is 96 and the rest of the value fxx simply means that it's the second partial derivative of f with respect to x fyy will then mean the second partial derivative of f with respect to y and fxy would simply mean the second partial derivative of f with respect to y followed by x well let's do that so we will start with whatever we are being provided with so here we have the function f which is given by x raised to the power of 4 minus 4 x cubed y plus 8 x y cubed minus y raised to the power of 4. so first what we'll do well, let's consider this to be equation number one and we'll take the partial derivative of f with respect to x so this will be the partial of x raised to the power of 4 that would be 4x cubed minus y whenever we're taking the partial derivative with respect to x y will be treated as a constant so 4 is also a constant we have negative 4y this will be multiplied to partial derivative of x cubed with respect to x so that's 3x squared plus 8 times y cubed that's a constant and we have partial derivative of x with respect to x so that's 1 minus partial derivative of y raised to the power of 4 will be simply 0 so this gives us 4x cubed minus 12 x squared y plus 8 y cubed so this is going to be the partial of f with respect to x now what we'll do we'll take the partial derivative on both sides again with respect to x so we have partial with respect to x of partial of f with respect to x which will be equals to so let's take the partial derivative of 4x cubed so that will be 12x squared minus 12y which is a constant that will be multiplied to partial derivative of x squared which is simply 2x plus partial derivative of 8y cubed will be 0 so therefore we now have second partial derivative of f with respect to x will be equals to 12x squared minus so we have 24xy now we want to compute the value of this derivative this partial derivative of second partial derivative of f with respect to x at 2 comma negative 1 so that means x will be 2 and y will be negative 1 so let's substitute this value here we have 12 times x squared so in place of x we will put 2 minus 24 times in place of x we have 2 and in place of y we have negative 1 the 2 times uh, 2 squared will be 4 4 times 12 is 48 we have negative 24 times 2 which is negative 48 plus times negative 1 which will make it positive 48 that gives us 96 so we have shown that the second partial derivative of f with respect to x calculated to the point 2 comma negative 1 is 96 and the next we'll try to calculate f x y at 2 comma minus 1 and we'll show that this value is negative 24 we'll again begin with our function f so we'll begin by calculating partial of f with respect to y so this will be we'll have to take the partial derivative of x raised to the power of 4 with respect to y so that will be 0 now since we are taking a partial with respect to y so we have 4x cubed that will be treated as a constant which will be multiplied to partial of y with respect to y that's 1 plus so here 8x is a constant so this will be multiplied to partial of y cubed with respect to y which is simply 3y squared minus partial of y raised to the power of 4 will be 4 times y raised to the power of 3 so let's write it in a simplified form we have negative 4x cubed plus 24xy squared minus 4y cubed so this is the partial of f with respect to y now what we'll do we'll take the partial on both sides with respect to x we have partial with respect to x of partial of f with respect to y which will be equals to negative 4 is a constant so partial of x cubed with respect to x so that's fine this will be 3x squared plus 24 we will have to take 24y squared as the constants because we are taking the partial derivative with respect to x and this will multiply to partial of x with respect to x which is simply 1 minus partial of 4y cubed will be 0 now that means we get negative 12x squared plus 24y squared so let's uh so this is uh, second partial derivative of f with respect to y and x now we'll calculate the value of this particular partial derivative 
at the point 2 comma negative 1 so that means that x equals to 2 and y equals to negative 1 so this gives us negative 12 times 2 squared plus 24 times negative 1 squared which will be so 2 times 2 squared will be 4 so 4 times negative 12 is negative 48 plus 24 which is equals to negative 24 so we have shown that the second part so this was a the second partial derivative of f with respect to y followed by x so this will be negative 24 now let's find out the final one so here we'll have to find 5 y y so we'll begin by taking the partial derivative of function f with respect to y which will be equals to so x is will be treated as a constant so this will be 0 minus so we will have 4x cubed as a constant so this will be multiplied to partial of y with respect to y as 1 plus 8x will be a constant this will be multiplied to partial of y cubed which is 3y squared minus partial of y raised to the power of 4 will be 4y cubed so that gives us negative 4x cubed plus 24xy squared minus 4y cubed so this is the value of partial of f with respect to y now we'll again take the partial with respect to y on both sides so we have partial with respect to y or partial of f with respect to y which will be equals to the partial with respect to y of negative 4x cubed will be 0 plus 24x that will be treated as a constant so this is multiplied to partial of y squared which is 2y minus and the partial of y cubed will be 12y squared so that means we have 24 times 2 that's 48 so we have 48xy minus 12 times y squared so let's obtain the value of the second partial derivative of f with respect to y calculate as a point 2 comma negative 1 which will be 48 times x times negative 1 minus 12 times y the y here is negative 1 square so we have 40 times 2 so that is 96 minus 12 which will be negative 108 so the second partial derivative of f with respect to y which is negative 108 but uh, i have made a typo in the question it's given positive one weight no it's actually negative 108